Welcome to a video presentation of Chapter 1, Section 6 in McDougall Etel's 8th grade textbook entitled Variables and Familiar Formulas. There are three definitions we begin with today. The first one is the definition of a formula. A formula is an equation that relates two or more quantities. A formula is an equation that relates two or more quantities. second one is the definition of perimeter. Perimeter is defined as the sum of the lengths of the sides of a figure. The sum, S-U-M, of the lengths of the sides of a figure. And the final definition is the definition of area, the amount of surface a figure covers. The amount of surface a figure covers. Again, from the top, formula, equation that relates two or more quantities, perimeter, sum of the lengths of the sides of a figure, area, the amount of surface a figure covers. In the next column on the board, you have the formulas that you'll need to complete example one and a majority of the homework tonight. The majority of the homework tonight is going to be about finding perimeter and area. So, start with those formulas. First one there is for a rectangle. And you can see I've labeled two sides of the rectangle. The side going across is the length. The side going up and down is the width. To find the perimeter, we solve the problem 2L plus 2W. 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Now, my guess is that most of you, when you find the perimeter, probably just go ahead and just add the four sides because that's easier than remembering a formula. And that's fine. You can do that too. Area, pretty easy. Length times width. Length times the width. Now, it used to be that when they taught a square, they just gave you the same things because then you didn't have to remember a second formula. Since then, they've changed it. So here's the new stuff. For a square with a side length called S, what side? Well, it doesn't matter because they're all the same. But with a side length called S, to find the perimeter, we multiply 4 times S. And the area is S squared, or S times itself. Again, for a square, the perimeter is 4 times S. And for area, the formula is S squared. All right, the bottom one is one you actually probably won't see any of tonight in the homework. They don't actually cover it until chapter 11, though, which is a little too late. So let's go over it. Last one's a circle, obviously. The first formula you have there is for the circumference. Circumference, in case you don't remember, is how we say perimeter when it comes to a circle. So, to find the circumference, we multiply together 2 pi and r. 2 times pi times the radius. In case you've forgotten, the radius is the distance from the center to the outside edge. There's that other distance from edge to edge called the diameter. We're not working with the diameter, just the radius. And the area, a pi r squared, pi times the radius squared. example one, where we're asked to find both the perimeter and the area for all three shapes. All right, we'll start with the rectangle and we'll start with the perimeter. Okay, first thing we have to do is multiply together two and the length. And again, the length is the known going across. So what's the length of the rectangle in part A? 16. Well, the 
whole thing equals 16, but the length here is just 8. Okay. Then we've got add to it 2 times the width. What's the width of the rectangle that's on the board? Brooke? 5. 5. So I've got to multiply together there 2 and 5, which is going to give me 10. So I add 16 and 10 here, and I get 26. Now, in these problems, you need to remember to include the proper units. For perimeter, it's just the plain old unit. So since this problem is in feet, this has to be 26 feet. All right. Area, a lot less writing, and we're happy about that. All right. Area is just the length times the width. So I'm multiplying together in this problem what and what? 8 and 5. Good. And when I multiply together 8 and 5, we get 40. 